This is Paranormal Short Session 4 by Keith Evans at the Steam Engine 11 in Port St. Joe, Florida. Today is Saturday the 26th of March 2022. Well, today I'm going to be using my Oblis 5B to ask some questions of the ghosts and spirits. I still like to know the name of anyone who worked on this steam engine when it was in service. I know they had uh, two positions that worked on the steam engine. Uh, the fireman, uh, which is not a firefighter. Yesterday I think I mistakenly used the term firefighter during uh, Paranormal Short Session 3 at the steam engine 11. And uh, they, they did not have a firefighter on the train. They had a fireman who supplied the coal or the wood for the fire that heated the steam which powered the engine. Uh, so I would like to know the name of anyone who worked on this engine as a fireman or a engineer who navigated the train and read the signals to know when to move and when to stop and when to lay over. All right. That's my question for today. I'm going to turn on my Oblis 5B and see what we get. Error. September. Mira. Mira is spelled M I R R O R. September is spelled S T P T E M B E R. Well, I got a uh, November moth during my last Paranormal Short Session, which was Paranormal Short Session 5 at the Centennial Building by Keith Evans, and now I'm getting the moth September. So I would imagine if this pertains to my question, you worked on this uh, Steam Engine 11 during the month of September. I do not see anything that looks like a mirror now, there is glass in the light. That light up there, looks like it has glass on both sides and in the front. So you can see the light from three sides, but not in the back. All right, there we go. Watch. Uh, we got two more words after September. Farmers. Noise. Dictionary. Noise is N-O-I-S-E. Watch is W A T. W-A-T-C-H, Farmers, F-A-R-M-E-R-S, and Diction, D-I-C-T-I-O-N. Is that you, Sunshine? Sunshine was a school teacher here in Florida, and uh, she likes to remind me to watch my diction. I think I did use a foul word on the... Uh, the last Paranormal Short Session, uh, Paranormal Short Session 5 by Keith Evans at the Centennial Building. Is that what you're referring to, uh, Sunshine? Yes, I, I use my uh, cell phone as a watch. That's the only source of time I have. Farmers. Well, two more words. Call Walter. As soon as I take the camera away, I get words. Okay, I got Walter before. I think I was here when I got... No, no, I was at the... That marker. That uh, unusual marker along 98. That's where I got the name Walter. Hi, Walter. My name is Keith Evans. Walter, I'm going to be using this uh, footage from my uh, cell phone camera on uh, YouTube, Instagram, and uh, what's it called, uh, Twitter. So if you don't mind talking, I'd love to talk to you, but that's where this footage is going to be shown. I want to be upfront and honest with you. Walter, um, 
Do you know anything about this train? Were you living when this train was in service? Carl Walter. Diction. Carl Walter. Can't say I know any Walters to call. Do you have a last name with this Walter that I should call? Oh, Ghost of Spirit wants me to call Walter. Arrived. Okay. Yeah, I guess you could say I have arrived. Or are you talking about you have arrived? Call is spelled C A L L. Walter is spelled W A L T E R. And arrive is A R R I V E D. I guess you could say I'm close to the number 11. That would be a point for me to arrive. Well, got Regent and Nun. Regent is spelled R E G I O N, and Nun is spelled N O N E. Well, there is a name on that wheel. Let's see if we can see what the name is. I'll try to hold it. Oh, it looks like Burlington at the top. It's upside down at the bottom. The bottom, it almost looks like an S-O-U-T Southern. H-E-R-N. So it's the Burlington Southern. Well, that's what it looks like it says on that wheel. So at one time, that wheel either belonged or was made by or for the Burlington Southern Railroad. Huh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. Uh, when I look at the camera, well, my eyes look at it, it looks blurry, but from how I'm holding the camera, but if I look straight ahead, you can definitely see Burlington Southern. The Southern is upside down. But when the wheel comes to the top, it'll be uh, correctly positioned. All right. And from here, you can see the chain. It's between the body and the wheel. It almost looks like it's a safeguard to hold the wheel to the body if all else fails. I don't know how else it's attached, probably from underneath. But uh, you can see where that metal loop is. Now on the other side there's a metal loop and there's no chain. So it's actually missing a chain on the uh, other side. That was me hit the, uh, the little fence railing with my cell phone. Uh, we're getting some more more words, three of them. Which, W-I-T-C-H, unholy and rapture. Now yesterday I think we, I got unholy and rapture in this area. I think I got unholy. Thursday I think I got rapture. I don't know if I've got which before or not. Some people uh, think negatively towards the word witch, uh, but I guess during the 14 and 1500s in Europe, a witch was a woman who was wise and knew how to use uh, local herbal remedies to either um, put on the outside of the body or to consume to help uh, you know cure whatever was wrong with the person so it wasn't really a negative word until around maybe the 17 and 1800s when it looked like any wise woman was accused of being a witch because it was a convenient way of getting her out of the way of the people who were in charge that's the way I look at it. I know everyone has their own opinion. But uh, 
it seems to be quite popular if you disagree with something just to accuse the people that you disagree with as being uh, anything but holy <laughs> you know that way anyone who believes what you're saying will just you know, kind of disengage from that person and treat them like they have leprosy or something but um, depending on your definition you could look at witch as a person that's knowledgeable and uh, wise because of their lifelong uh, obtainment of knowledge or if you want to go with the Halloween witch of the 1930s and 40s and every time period past that you look as the witch as not being a positive person now unholy rapture <laughs> I don't know if those two words go together but Nine. I don't look at that positively yeah I know a lot of people get all bent out of shape about nine but this could be a ghost or spirit saying that they were nine when they died. Uh, this could be someone saying that they worked nine years on the railroad. This could be someone saying, answering my question about, you know, what year did you work on the railroad? I think I asked that maybe yesterday or Thursday. And they might be saying 1909. The Obelus 5 is just picking up 9. Well, let's go back over and look at the chains. Now, back here, the chain is actually around looks like a bolt that puts it with the frame and uh, then it's hooked to the wheel there it's just a short chain with maybe one two one long link and one two three maybe four links and then it's bolted on to like a little round thing that is attached to the wheel now on this side there's no chain so I guess as a safety aspect there should be one there but 